Hi, writers. Remember I told you that we're writing our opinions of books that we have read? But before we start this, I have something really important that I need to teach you. Do you remember what a blurb is? You can find a blurb on the back of the book, or sometimes it's on the inside cover. A blurb just tells you a little snapshot of what the book is about. It never spoils the story for you. So it might just tell you about the characters and the problem, and it always leaves you wanting more information so that you would actually pick up the book and read it. When we write book reviews with our opinions, we include a little blurb of the book. Let's practice that today. I came up with a little formula to help you write a blurb. So our formula has three steps. Step number one would be to name the title of the book and introduce the main character. Step number two, you would say one or maybe two sentences about the problem in the story. Remember, you don't wanna give away too much information. And step three, you're going to add a question for some suspense. So you really wanna get someone to read this book. Do you remember the book Knuffle Bunny? It's definitely a favorite at our school. It's a favorite of mine too. I'm going to write a blurb for Knuffle Bunny, so watch what I do. So first I'm gonna name the title of the book, and then I'm gonna introduce the main characters. So in the book, Knuffle Bunny, you will meet Trixie. Now I'm gonna say one or two sentences about the problem in the story. And the problem was pretty simple. Trixie loses her favorite bunny. Now, I'm going to add a question for some suspense, and then I'm gonna tell you if I recommend it or not. Will she ever find her favorite bunny? Read the book to find out. Did you notice what I did? Let's see how it would look in my writing. In the book, Knuffle Bunny, you will meet Trixie. Notice how I wrote the title, and I introduced the main character. I also underlined Knuffle Bunny because we always underline titles of books. Now I'm going to move on to the second part of my blurb. Trixie loses her favorite bunny. There's the problem. I was able to write the problem in just one sentence. Here's the third part to my blurb. Will she ever find her favorite bunny? Read this book to find out. That's where I added a question to build some suspense and I told you that I think you should read this book because I recommend it. Let's try it together now. Here's another popular read aloud that was actually a book of the month. It's called Strictly No Elephants. Do you remember the story? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to name the title of the book and introduce the main characters. I added a little sentence starter to help you say it out loud. So I want you to take the time to practice it out loud with me now. In the book, mm, you will meet, mm. fill in those blanks, say it out loud. Did you say in the book, Strictly No Elephants, you will meet a boy and his pet elephant? Sounds good so far. I hope you underlined strictly no elephants in the air as you were speaking. Let's move on to the second part. Now we're going to say one or maybe two sentences about the problem in the story. Go ahead, say it out loud. Did you say the pet elephant is not allowed to join the pet club? That's right, that was the big problem in the story. Let's move on to our final step. We're going to add a question to build some suspense. And don't forget to tell us if you recommend it or if you don't recommend it. I'll start my sentence with, will he ever, mm, you should, mm. go ahead, say it out loud. Did you say, will the boy and elephant ever find a club to join? 
You should read this book to find out. Maybe you didn't enjoy this book. So you would say you should not read this book to find out. Here's how my blurb would look in my writing. In the book, Strictly No Elephants, you will meet a boy and his pet elephant. The pet elephant is not allowed to join the pet club. Will the boy and elephant ever find a club to join? Read this book to find out. Once again, notice how I underlined the title because titles are always underlined. Now here's your assignment for today. You're going to pick any book to write a blurb. You're going to do the same thing that we did together today together. You're going to name the title of the book and introduce the main characters. You're going to say one or maybe two sentences about the problem in the story. Finally, you're going to add a question to build some suspense and tell us if you recommend it. I created a little template on the bottom that you can use to help you as you write. I can't wait to see your work.